I had always idolized England because I think you, if you're an English major especially, you think that here it all began and you want to walk under Milton's mulberry tree at Cambridge and you remember all the Dickens that you read when you were little and suddenly you go to London and you recognize scenes that you have somehow seen before. And this is simply, I think, a sort of literary influence. I remembered all sorts of little queer crannies and peculiar uh, views in London that, and I seemed to be visiting them again and I was immensely excited by the historic sense of London in the first place. And then by the look of it, something about all the taxi cabs being black and, and rather like large impressive purses, and then the double-decker buses, simple things and quite obvious things, but these really I found quite overwhelming at first. And I loved everybody being so courteous, that was another thing, sort of old-world formality about everybody from the bobbies to the postman. And finally, we found that... that this is where we wanted to live, and there were all sorts of considerations that made this decision a possible one. We lead a rather peculiar life, both of us being writers and poets, and have, a, have a peculiar demands, therefore. And England somehow seemed a great deal more hospitable to a couple of artists who wanted to be artists and at the same time lead a very normal and rather placid family life.